quick fire thoughts. The three best players you played with, the three best players you coached, and one or two that you'd love to have coached. Okay, so let's just break that down a little bit. So the best three players I played with. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll be, it's quite interesting because when you when you play with your um, your protege, so when Richie McCaw came along, <laughs> and obviously he he was just at the um, beginning of his uh, his career when when he came. I, I was finishing. I remember we played Ireland uh, in Dublin. We were down sort of 18, 20 points. Um, I think it was his 21st birthday. It was on debut. Uh, Jonas scored a couple of beautiful tries. He came back and won it. And on debut, he'd only played NBC, hadn't played Super Rugby, was man of the match. So I knew he was good, but then I knew he was great. After that game, I knew what a great player. And like any player, when you play with someone like Richie, you spend your whole career running behind him in fitness training and looking at his back. You could not get past him. Impossible, just an, an insane mindset. Uh, probably uh, the other couple of players that I played with, incredible. Oh, Joan was amazing, a beast of a man, incredible. I was his roomie for a few weeks in class. I wasn't because he didn't even sleep at night. He was incredible. He brought me through. I came through with the age groups with him. He was amazing. He could change a game. Uh, and that's Jonah. That was Jonah. Jonah, sorry, yeah, Jonah could do that. He, he, he was, he was freakish. Um, you got Richie, you got Jonah, and now give us a left field guy who you played with that maybe never quite got the credit. Yeah, okay, good, because I was going to say Justin Marshall. He's got plenty of credit. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with uh, got never Norm Berryman. Yeah. yeah. Freak, freak, really? absolute freak athlete. Like he could slam dunk. He could. Um, we played in our netball, local local French, French, netball franchise once, and the girls walked off and said, best player we've ever played against nearly, man or woman. A Murray boy, incredible timing. Hit three-pointers. Could jam you, could play touch. Could eat five buckets, buckets of KFC. He could <laughs> mate, He could do everything. And amazing. He, he could smile, he could play guitar, he could sing, he could dance. He's one of those guys that you, you just love to be around. And uh, he won a couple of massive games for the Crusaders and started the dynasty. So, yeah. Noy B, special for my heart. Yeah. They're big three. So, the two pl three players you coached, you're not allowed to say Kieran Reid because he's obviously your best. The next two that you've coached that are awesome and one that you think you've coached and hasn't quite been given the recognition. Um, and just before I finish, God bless to um, Norm Berryman. He's passed away um, from his family. Uh, probably the... Other than other than Rito, she's I could keep talking about Rito. He he he's incredible because he's a game breaker. He, he's a game changer and game breaker through his athleticism and, and game understanding and his leadership. I need to say that he doesn't uh, seem that big, but does he does he literally bowl a heavy ball? He doesn't yeah. seem like he's a monster timing. guy. Timing, oh, incredible athlete, amazing timing. How he speaks, his words, his tempo, tone. And patient, you know, school teacher, the ability to get the message across, deliver it, look someone in the eye, uh, and but do it himself with his with his physical ability or with his hands. Uh, yeah, his vision was it was amazing, uh, Kieran. He only played a handful of games for us through over the three years, but they were really important. Uh, who do I coach? Who who's really special? I, I like that. I like that. Good you. I think oh, Jack, a player. Jack Goodhue is an incredible player, a incredible man. I've come through with all the come through with the age groups. Um, special guy. Like um he'll say something everyone's thinking or no one's thinking. And he'll say it and you'll go, where did that come from? Mm. Jack. And and it's usually a little bit profound or needs to be said or just challenge the norm. Amazing left left handed um, offload, good feet, strong, can play sevens, can play on the wing, can play centre, can play second five, um, bounce back from a you know bad cushion. Um, yeah, he's incredible. Um, he's amazing. Yeah, what, I, what I love about him is he stays so square in everything he does. Attack or D, yeah. you only ever see two shoulders. I know that sounds a strange thing to say with a lot of kids. You, 
right shoulder dominant. I'm going to lead like this, which offsets your or in defence the same way. I want to tackle you this side, so I'm going to get inside. And push. He has two granite shoulders square on you the whole time. You cannot switch off against Good Hugh. No, he's, he's an incredible player. Great work, uh, work rate and ethic. And probably to finish would be uh, hard not to go to a, another loose forward, but I'm going to go to a 10 rich in my wonga. So fortunately, um, every great coach needs a great first five. And, I, and I've come through with Richie. Uh, you know, he came through academy through, he gave him his opportunity back in 2013 uh, for paying for Canterbury straight out of school. Uh, and so it might be 2015 actually, and then brought him through New Zealand 20s with Chris Boyd. And every championship I've won, he's been at 10. Right. Either kicked one in goals or, or been man of the match. Um, we know a hell of a player he is, to, you know, someone to keep Bowden Barrett out of starting 10 for the All Blacks is incredible, but probably more the man that he is off the field, right, which amazes me. Great leader, the boys follow him. And uh, just got a real proud heritage. Do you understand why 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 he's he, he's his man and he's a, he's inspirational. Yeah. Now we had him on last week. Can I play devil's advocate one sec? Having sort of had this conversation yeah. with, him. if I was coaching against him, what, what what would you say to someone who say, "Oh, Richie can switch off for a sec. Richie will throw a pass that's not on," or is that actually more his mindset that he wants to go and score six, even if you score four? Do you yeah. understand the accusation that people might say about him as a player? Well, he's definitely matured around that. Um, it's, a, it's a good point. I know where you're coming from. A lot of game understanding stuff um, he's got better at. I think Ronan Agara made a big difference. I didn't hear Richie's last week, but Ronan Agara did a great, it was really good about winning rugby. You know, like obviously played a lot of tests, had a different mindset from the um, Northern Hemisphere coming down and helped Richie's mindset was, you, you can dance, we know that, but can you win? Can you win with your boot? Can you win with your pass? Can you win with game understanding and challenge them a lot around it? So we see some growth in it, but hey, when you can play, when you can, when you've got feet and step and, and you can do it all, you want to do it all, and, and then you learn lessons to find other ways, and that's what Richie's doing. The three players that you'd like to coach, from, they could be from anywhere. Three whether they be I'd New Zealanders like. or French or English or whatever. Okay. Uh, Should we simplify it? Make it an Englishman, a Frenchman and a South African. Okay, great. Perfect. It makes it really simple. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, who would I like? A South African? Uh, uh, Khaleesi, I'd love, he's more than rugby, you know, he's got that, that aura around him, he's actually a leader of men, you know, people follow him, uh, incredible rugby player, but probably even a greater person, just, just some people have it, and I'd like to, probably, I'd love to connect with him, maybe in the bar bars, Will, can you arrange oh, that? No, I'm ready, always ready with the water, I was a good yeah. water boy, wasn't I? Oh, mate, exceptional, exceptional, <laughs> uh, and, uh, Probably, probably the Frenchman. I'd I'd love to have um, uh, Intermac. Yeah. I just just at the stage that he is now, mm. and the freedom that he's playing, and see so much of his father. You know, like he can win them a World Cup. And he reminds me a lot of Richie, and he reminds me of that 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 freedom, that that talent, that um, or oh, there's Genesis Quieter. He's a bit more French. Just to yeah. make, he's got something that you, you, you know he can achieve something great. Um, and probably from an English point of view, you know, the Vunapola brothers blow me away, eh? What they, how they run and stuff. But from, I've got to get a loose forward in there, um, other than Salisi. And I like probably Tom Curry. I like him. He's actually genuinely relentless. Yeah. Genuinely, no fear, disregard for body, um, and and I reckon he's getting better at test level. I think his his, oh. his, um, his ability for you know, play better at higher level. He's growing his game. Eddie's done a really good job with him. I thought at the start, he's a bit of a you know one trick, but no, nah, he he 
He's a you, mince. A bit of Richie Bellum. Yeah. You would love him. You would love Brian Cuddy. Bit like he, out of a school that hasn't created a lot of English rugby players, um, northern, family orientated, get up. You're only ever looking at his back in the fitness sessions. You literally, he described one session he did. I took it down my local junior rugby club. They, we did like a, a fifth of Tom Curry's session. <laughs> I couldn't walk. They couldn't walk. They couldn't talk. They're like, who is this guy, Tom Curry? Uh, so humble. Uh, doesn't understand the sort of, he's on social media, but doesn't really get yet the whole endorsement commercial side of life. Just wants to play. Just, just a good raw Lucy, eh? Perfect. Yeah,